her hair, y'all. When I say Marlene and I pushed, we push and we push and we push. And she over here clapping. She over here in shock. Oh, she's in complete all y'all. This was hard. <laughs> it was hard, but we didn't give up. So I want you guys to see it. So I know you're wondering how does this happen? Who do we blame? Who do we call? Sit back, take off the judgment, and listen. So she's 13, her and her mother fell on hard times, and instead of being on the streets, she's in a group home. Now, keep in mind, she's 13. So she decided to stop brushing her hair due to life and the things that she's going through, and she didn't think her hair would get this way. So the group home, found me on social media, reached out to me, brought her every single day to get her hair detangled, and they covered everything. So they did their part. Actually, they went above and beyond, so shout out to them. So this is day one, and we're taking all the stuff that's in there out. Now, when we seen her pictures, her back was free, but by the time she got to us, which is like a week later, it was matted again. So they tried to like detangle her hair, the people at the group home, but they weren't able to do it, especially the top part. The top part was really hard. Now, when she came in, she was very quiet, very timid. She wouldn't talk that much. So little by little, I had to allow her to be comfortable, um, realizing that this is a new space for her and her past experience at a salon was different. I think she was under like nine and her hair got matted like this before. And I believe her aunt and her mom took her to the salon and they talked about her and made her feel really bad. And they end up cutting a lot of hair out. So she has a little, a little bit of past trauma. So I'm being very patient with her. Um, this is the end of day one. And I told her because, you know, she did an amazing job that we're going to have a pizza party for her tomorrow. We're going to have some popcorn. And we did. We got some Sprite. And at the end of each day, she gave us a hug, which was amazing because for her not to talk to us, really when she first got there but by the end of day two she was talking she was interacting we were watching movies now what you see here is a lot of build up i guess from when they tried to detangle her hair there's stuff still stuck in there and also when she tried to take it out now she didn't think her hair is going to get this way because she has a lot of hair but it's fine now here I'm either cutting either some old hair or I'm cutting a rubber band or something that was stuck in there so I can get through it. Um, it really didn't hurt as much because it was towards the end. But as we, got, as we got closer to the scalp, it did start to irritate her because we're tugging towards her scalp. And those hairs are a little more resistant because it's been matted for a while. And she had a lot of buildup in there. Um... To be honest, guys, that top part, that top part was, it was hard. It, it made me and Marlene work. Um, it did. Like, and we told these people two days. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, I don't know how we're going to do this in two days. This is hard. Marlene ended up staying extra hours after work just so we can push through this and get this done. Because I did not want her coming back the next day for this. Um, also, I wanted to relax because my body was tired, but we was able to push through and not only save her hair, but also see the transformation in her personality. She started putting her accessories on towards the end. She's like, I'm back to myself. At one point, she wasn't going to school, so they really had to find someone to do this for her because she refused to go to school with her hair like this. And it's understandable. Imagine being like in middle school and your hair's matted. Middle school's already hard, so imagine having having matted hair and imagine going through all the situation that you're going through with life in general. So our purpose there was to have her have a safe place that she's comfortable um, before we did anything with social media, we talked to her first. Now, look at the end result, guys. We were able to save all of her hair. There's no broken pieces. There's no patches. There's no anything that's weird. Um, she's giving us a little dance here. And she is free. Like, she's truly happy. And I know a lot of times when I go live on TikTok or social media, like, well, just cut it off or 
Why do it? Because why not? Look how she can feel her scalp. Look how she's waving her hands of happiness. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So because you guys were so patient, I'm going to allow you guys to see like the conversations we had behind the scenes. How do you feel? Good. Ah, she feels good. She feels good. Good like grace. Y'all, I almost was like, I don't know, we do this today. Mm -hmm. You may have to come back tomorrow. Like, you don't tell these people, 6.30, 7 o'clock, and our body hurt, my body hurt. At this point, she in pain because her scalp's <laughs> sensitive. She's tender-headed and we're talking. Oh. I'm about to just like this half hour. Marlene's like, I gotta go, but I'm gonna stay and help you. And she's like, why are we not done yet? I'm like, I don't know, mom. I'm sorry, but we gotta finish today. I gotta, I want tomorrow. Oh, free. Look, Look at, at this that, hair. Look how long this hair is. Look at this, guys. Look at that scalp. She is free. Look at this, guys. I know, 111. Look at this. How do you feel? Oh, are you happy? Yes. So how short are we cutting it? To the shoulder, so we want the hump is gone, girl. Oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey pretty girl. I know. Do you feel like yourself again? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to finish your hair. Hella hair. There's no hair ripped out. It's all still there. There's no broken pieces. It's all even. It's still, look at this. This is her hair. Look at that. And it's all attached to her. It's all attached. Come on. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with us. <laughs> Stop playing with us. You see this. You see this. Yes, ma'am. Get into it. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. You see it. You see the ponytail. You see how she just swinging it from side to side. Oh, oh you shaking your hands too. Oh, she's shaking her hands too. You see her. Yes, ma'am. You see her. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Play with somebody else, but don't play with me. You ready, girl, for your new beginnings? And she had the hair and she decides to get um to donate it. Oh my god. She could have kept all of it, y'all, but she wanted to donate her hair. Come on, y'all. Stop playing with people. I don't touch your hair. I know. No more anything. So go to the sink. She's gonna wash your hair for you. And the thing we couldn't cut it beforehand because it was stuck to her scalp. So we have to free the hair first, then cut it.
<laughs> so we are done guys we're going to do our after pictures and we're going to check out but today we are done thank you guys so much for sending all the love and positivity she is happy i will post the results y'all see it she looks um how do you feel Oh, are you happy? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. Do you feel beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's all that matters, my love. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>